This oil on paper was painted for the production of an engraving. Rubens painted this at the end of his life in 1638, and he was revisiting an image that he had used in 1610. The Great Triptych in Antwerp Cathedral. And you see in this painting that the, the dog is positioned here. There's a lot of tree foliage in the sky. The decoration on the standard is, is different than the one that we see here. It's one of the most beautiful passages in the, in the painting. It really, the ribbons flowing here are really lovely. You can almost feel the breeze. So when I began the treatment, there were a number of challenges. The most significant, I think, was trying to separate out what was restoration from an original Rubens surface because, of course, the artist made some changes. Some of the very significant changes that Rubens made were understood from the analytic photography that we use. For example, uh, from the x-ray, just from an x-ray you can see that that Rubens painted two dogs. He painted a, a larger one here. You can still see the faint outline of this dog. And then he repositioned it here to give more space to the central grouping. And initially there was a lot of foliage. There was a tree behind the, the crucifixion figure, but now it's much simpler. It's much more depth in the painting. You can see the city behind. Uh, one of the most damaged areas in the painting here on the figure of Mary, there was extensive loss here. It was heavily overpainted in the previous restoration. So we, we just decided to tone the area so that the, it actually read as, as drapery. There was damage um, from the theft in 1954 and later in, again in 1959. In both times the painting was cut out of the stretcher, rolled up, and so, so a lot of the paint was cracked. Um, you can see in this image the extent of the damage. What I try to do is integrate the areas so that it makes visual sense, it's not distracting. Your eye is very sensitive to texture, so it's very important to correct that so that paint strokes are not interrupted. I developed a very deep appreciation for Rubens' uh, genius in, in working on the painting. I have the advantage of looking through the microscope and I have to say there are many passages that are really breathtaking. You have to wonder how Rubens loaded his brush. The combination of color here, for example, in the decoration on the standard. The beautifully painted hands, I mean, there, there are various gestures all over the painting. There is a whole variety of gestures among these figures. And under the microscope, you see the blend of so many delicate colors. It's really exceptionally beautiful.